1. Maritime summit starts today. Government expects to clinch deals worth as 82,000 crore. GS paper 2. Effect of policies and politics of develop and developing countries on India's interests, Indian diaspora. Why recently in news? Prime Minister Nahandra Modi will inaugurate the Maritime India Summit to be held at the Bombay Convention and Exhibition Centre in Gogwen from April 14 to 16. The first National Maritime Summit is expected to yield investment agreements worth us 82,000 crore. Over 120 business and concession agreements worth over Rs 82,000 crore have been planned to be signed at the summit, which is being organized with South Korea as the partner country. Highlights of the summit The summit will open a new era of international cooperation in the maritime sector. The objective of the summit is to attract potential investors to various components in the maritime sector. The Union government is also likely to sign a memorandum of understanding with South Korea for port development and operations. The summit will feature 13 thematic sessions on topics such as the Union government's Sagamala project for port-led development, shipbuilding, ship repair and ship breaking, maritime education and training, inland water transportation cruise shipping and lighthouse tourism, hinterland connectivity and so on. Can India's coastline become engine of growth? The biggest investment proposal from Gujarat to be inked at the maiden three-day summit, organized by the Union Ministry of Shipping, is for a US 10,000 crore integrated maritime complex. Located in close proximity to shipping routes, this proposed complex will have a shipyard that can accommodate about 300 ships for repairs per annum. It will also have an annual ship building capacity for 20 ships. Deals will also be signed for the development of a jetty at Paw Bandar and Oka on the western coast of the state, for the Indian Coast Guard at the cost of Rs 100 crore. Another project involving development of a breakwater and the jetty at Pobandar will be linked for the Indian Navy. Once implemented it is sure that India's coastline will become engine of growth. Why Maritime Trade is Important for India India has a vast coastline of over 7,500 kilometers with 12 major ports and 187 non-major ports that carry nearly 95% of India's trade volume. It is an important natural resource for the country's trade. Maritime transport is critical for the economic development of a country. It influences the pace structure and pattern of development. The Ministry of Shipping, Government of India broadly encompasses within its fold the shipping and port sectors of the country. What are the steps taken by government to promote maritime sector? The Ministry of Shipping, Government of India broadly encompasses within its fold the shipping and port sectors of the country. Realizing the importance of the maritime sector for economic development, Government of India has announced a number of initiatives to facilitate and grow maritime trade. More than 150 plus projects have been identified for strengthening the maritime infrastructure and increasing the total cargo handling capacity of the country both by greenfield port development and capacity addition to existing ports. Apart from capacity addition, port efficiencies are being improved through mechanization and modernization. Two. Nahandra Modi's Big National Agricultural Market Initiative, National Agriculture Market, NAM. GS Paper 3, Issues Related Agriculture and Marketing, e-Technology in the Aid of Farmers.
What is National Agriculture Market, NAM? NAM is an online platform with a physical market or mandi at the back end. Agriculture Ministry officials say that NAM is not a parallel marketing structure but rather an instrument to create a national network of physical mandis which can be accessed online. According to the official document, NAM seeks to leverage the physical infrastructure of mandis through an online trading portal enabling buyers situated even outside the state to participate in trading at the local level. Why is the National Agriculture Market, NAM, a necessity today? The purpose behind NAM is the creation of a common national market for agricultural commodities through an e-platform network. At present, Agricultural Produce Market Committees, APMCs, regulate market yards, limiting the scope of trading in agricultural commodities at the first point of sale where farmers bring in their produce following the harvest at a mandi located nearby. Mandis located across a state are not integrated and there are substantial transaction costs for moving the produce from one mandi to another within a state. Separate licenses for each mandi are required for trading in different market areas within a state. This has led to a highly fragmented market and there is a high transaction cost for buying and selling agricultural commodities. Besides, it creates barriers for free movement of agricultural goods across the country. What is the government's plan for developing NAM? The electronic platform under NAM is being created through a special software developed by the Agriculture Ministry and the same is provided to each mandi, which agrees to come on board, free of cost. There are some basic criteria for a state to integrate into NAM. For instance, the concerned state must amend its APMC acts by bringing in provision for electronic trading. Besides, states must provide a single license to anyone willing to trade through NAM in a local mandi. Prime Minister Nahandra Modi is launching NAM across 21 mandis in 8 states. Telangana, 5, Uttar Pradesh, 5, Gujarat, 3, Haryana, 2, Himachal Pradesh, 2, Jharkhand, 2, Madhya Pradesh, 1, Rajasthan, 1 tomorrow. The Agriculture Ministry is aiming at integrating 200 markets in NAM by September 2016. 200 more regulated markets would be integrated with NAM by March 2017 and the rest 185 markets by March 2018. What benefits would NAM bring? With more manders coming onto the NAM platform, the volume of business will significantly increase, as there will be greater competition for specific produce resulting in higher transaction fees for a mandi. Agriculture Ministry officials say that the gradual integration of all major mandis into NAM e-platform would ensure common procedures for issue of licenses, levy of fee and movement of produce. Over five seven years, the ministry expects significant benefits through higher returns to farmers lower transaction costs for buyers, and stable prices and availability to consumers. NAM will also facilitate the emergence of integrated value chains in major agricultural commodities across the country and help promote scientific storage and movement of agri-goods.